G'day viewers, Prospector Peter back again. Thanks for joining me for another video. Uh, I seem to have had a good response, uh, viewers wise, to my reverse electroplating. So I have another video for you. Uh, this time I'm going to be removing silver from uh, a serving dish. I'll give you a look. Okay, so what I have here, I've got two of these, I've already cut one up, I left one to show you. Uh, the lid is silver plated, then we've got a glass bowl, and then we're left with the frame. And I've already chopped one up into bite sized pieces, as you can see, um, just small enough pieces that I can put them into the salt water, so, sorry, vinegar and salt. Um, it's a lot thicker coating than the gold that I removed from the heat sinks, so it's taking a lot longer. Um, I won't show all of it because it's going to take a while. This one has been in here for about 10 minutes so far. Um, also, the uh, vinegar and salt must work a lot slower than the sulfuric acid does. Uh, part of the reason why I'm doing it in vinegar and salt is just to break it up, show you it's all something different. But also because I used the uh, recycled sulfuric acid, you guys couldn't see really what was happening. Whereas now you can see where it's coming off. And also because some people can't accept the fact that I've donated my gloves and respirator to the hospital. And they felt the need to complain. I didn't have gloves on. So... This is not going to hurt you. It's no different to the fish and chips. You know, you have salt and vinegar on your fish and chips. You don't need a respirator or gloves for that. So this all this is. Straight vinegar and salt. No fumes. I'm doing it inside my kitchen. Don't need to worry about anything. So for you, those of you who are a little bit concerned about fumes and so on, well, this is for you. Um, so I've just got a lead there. And the... Uh, the plated now you can see when I pick it up you can see the tin there and then the so this part here has all been done and it's just taking a little bit longer um, I've only got this small amount of vinegar I can't really make another batch so once this is exhausted and I reckon only a couple of pieces are going to do that I could be wrong but anyway there's no way I'll get through the whole lot with it um, I will switch to using the sulfuric acid. Um, you guys have seen that, so I don't need to record that part. Um, what I do, what I will do is, uh, let, once I've done as much as I can with the salt and vinegar, I'll let it settle and show you guys the um, silver that settled. I may even decant what I can once it's settled. I do have a little bit of vinegar left, but not enough for another batch. But if I let this settle and take off the top part, which is clean salt, uh, salt vinegar, I should be able to top it up and keep going. I'll go as long as I can using this method. And if I, if I really need to just swap out, I'll have to go for sulfuric. But uh, just using my power supply from a computer like before. And uh, it's pretty simple. Um, I can walk away and do something else knowing that this is taking a long time and I can come back periodically just to check on it. So uh, that's what I'll do is I'll come back every so often and show you how it's going. Alright, so I brought it out the front with me. Um, not, really, not because of fumes or anything but because I'm depopulating some more boards. So I figured I might as well just have it sitting next to me and keep an eye on it. Uh, it's coming along quite nice. It's going to take a while though. It's definitely slower than the sulfuric acid. But you can see there's still quite a bit of a uh, reaction going on. Then there's mountain of stuff here. I've got printers, computers, TVs. I've got a lot of stuff to get through. It just keeps coming and coming quicker than I can sort through it all. So, alright, 
it's probably going to take me I reckon a couple of days at this rate and I'll come back later okay I just had to uh, run and get a toothbrush it's all caked on and when I scrape it off with the toothbrush it comes up nice and clean so there's still a little bit on there still more to go this is only the first piece it's been about three hours but I just wanted to show you that you're going to need a toothbrush or something to scrape it off with but uh, yeah it's almost done you can see in the grooves in the in the recesses where there's still silver so. well it's dark outside so I've had to come back in again can't see what I'm doing out there and the reaction has finally slowed down it hasn't stopped but it picks up and then slows down and picks up and slows down and this is still the first piece it's been well over five hours so either it's a very thick silver plating and I know it's definitely silver plated it's either thicker than I thought or this is an extremely slow way to do it but the purpose of this video is to show you that it can be done this way if you need to find a way without assets you might have little kids or whatever you know you might be not too keen on working with acid so this is an option but you must have a lot of time on your hands to do this i will definitely be switching after this piece to use a sulfuric acid but like i said the point of the video is to show you that it can be done um, notice the color all of this brown is silver you saw it when I started, it was all nice and clear. And each time I pull this out, it's just coated in black, see? I've got to keep scrubbing it all the time. So, it's a, a lot of silver. A lot more than I thought. And um, both of those serving platters, um, together they cost me 10 bucks from an op shop. So... I had hoped that I'm going to at least make my money back, and by the looks of it, I'm going to. The, the, the reaction had nearly stopped before, and now it's picked up again. On the first piece. So, I'm going to let this go as long as it can, until no more reaction. And then swap it out. Well guys, it's the next day. Um, the solution's had a chance to settle. Uh, you probably see there's a layer of silver on the bottom there. Not bad considering I only did one piece. Uh, I'd say it's almost done. It looks like there's still a little bit of silver in this area where it's not rusted. But as you can see the rest of it's all finished off. Um, it just took way too long for my liking. You know you might have um, kids around or whatever and this is a suitable option for you but for me took too long I've got a whole box full of it to do so I'll be finishing this off with sulfuric acid however the point of the video was to show you that it can be done with vinegar and salt and I've done that you also got to be careful because um, the clip fell in and ate they ate my clip away and it's all stuck to the lead I'll show you yeah, ate the end off it so I can still hold it just a little bit there because I try and find me another clip. So I've got way too much in here to do with vinegar. I mean, that took hours, I got eight hours or something. Um, just way too much to do. So sulfuric for me. All right, well, this is the end of the video since there's nothing more I can show you. I won't bother collecting that silver right now. I'll wait till all this is done. Um, I'll put it all together and I may make a video in the future for turning it all into elemental silver. Um, we'll wait and see how I go after all this is done. So for now, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. I hope this was useful to someone. I hope someone learnt something. Please comment if you want. Let me know how I'm going, if this is the sort of thing you want to see. Or if it's not the sort of thing you want to see, I need to know. Alright guys, catch you on the next one.